Hello everybody, we are back with more Carbon Space Program. Our new job now, currently, is to land. So I'm going to warp to there. And... There we go. We are using a lot of unmanned probes, because I don't have quick saving. And uh, we've already killed one Kerbal. <laughs> Trying not to kill any others, if I don't have to. And I don't. So we're going to warp to there. Get this done. Warp to there. Doing it in stages so I don't completely botch it up. Okay. Turn retrograde. We don't have that much fuel left. And I just seem to have, like, a love affair with landing and just doing anything, period, on the dark side of Kerbal. I'm very good at doing stuff at the dark side. Apparently I've joined the dark side. I'm just burning off the extra fuel. Knocking that away. And we have our lander. Here we go. <clears throat> Speed up time. No reason to make everyone wait. Oh good, I didn't accidentally trigger the parachutes. Oof, that would have sucked. That would have very much sucked. Currently, this thing here, coming in nice and hot, weighs a whopping 715 kilograms. That is it. That thing's going to stay in orbit for a little while, isn't it? Eh. We're going to hit the atmosphere hard. Oh, we're in the atmosphere now. <laughs> Almost 3,000... Will we touch 3,000 meters a second? Three kilometers a second. How, how hard will we hit the air? Still climbing. We may not hit 3,000. Still climbing, though. Still climbing. And 2,972. And dropping. Wee hey And there's the re-entry effects. How's our battery doing? Alright. Look at that. Now there's some turbulence. That is some turbulence right there. Wee but it's not really affecting this until rather late into re-entry. It's kind of like, why does this thing exist and weigh that much when we quite clearly don't need it that much? So I might start taking some of that off. Okay. So we've re-entered. Plenty of whatever that ablator thing is left. Once we hit a low enough speed, well, I could turn. I could deploy the parachutes right now, but I don't see a point to it. Good time to deploy the parachutes, expose the hard drive, the beep -a doop -a doop boop beep beep thing. Beep 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 boop beep 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 boop. Now this looks like a space probe coming back down again. Like a real life one. A little bit of a 
science payload and package. Come on, bring it down, bring it down. Five hundred shoots expanded. We're landing on water in the dark. As much of my Kerbal Space Program stuff ends up in the dark. Hooray! And that still isn't like my altitude. Poof. Okay, so that's that contract done. Seriously, this thing should sink. <laughs> this thing should be sinking straight to the bottom. But there it goes. So that's 98,305 done right there. We'll recover that. Recover what money we can. And now, if I'm correct, the contract should be to land. Oh, we actually got some science out of that because of the orbiting. Huh. Yeah, we got 3,738 funds back. No crew. Ferry two tourists. Rescue that, rescue that, rescue that. And explore Duna. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shouldn't landing on the Mun be a mission? Or do people just not land on the Mun? Because I know they did a, um... Yeah, they did stuff. They asked for volunteers to send them data on what they were doing. And apparently landing on the Mun wasn't something people did? What? Okay. So science data from Space Round Kerbin. That'll be easy, because remember that satellite I left in orbit? Yeah. I can do another one of these, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take that other probe, after doing this contract, and we're going to land that fucker. We're going to land it. It will be landed. Where is that satellite? Orbiting. satellite. That's kind of, that's a reasonable orbit there. <laughs> it's not like zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. Bah! Not like that one guy whined. He's like, nope, not doing it. Lots of money, yeah, we doing it? Nope. <laughs> not at all. You have a job. You log temperature. Oh. Keep data, review data, transmit data. Bing! Contract completed for free! Because <laughs> that system was already up there. All we had to do was go back and communicate with it. Do this. Sure. Great. Fantastic. It actually got me some science, too, to boot. Explore Duna. Science data from space around the moon. Remember that other satellite? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here we go. Uh -huh. Right there. Yo. Set launcher mark two. Fly. Rename. Because <laughs> I shouldn't have stuff named like this. How do I rename you? Rename! First Mun Equator Sat Lander. Okay. Okay, so retrieve data from around the Mun. Log temperature, keep data, review data, transmit. And done. 
another contract done. Boy, isn't that easy when you think ahead and start deploying satellites? Okay. So there is like an easy extra hundred grand. Finally, I knew there'd be a contract. Now we can do it, and now we can get the money for it. An actual amount of money. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh, wait, I'm complaining about gotten fr getting free money just a couple of times. Why am I complaining? You! You're no longer going to be orbiting. You're in an alright place to actually just pick a place to land. Whoops. Yeah, we got enough Delta V to do this. Where do I want to land, actually? Get that big crater. Or this ravine. That wouldn't be too bad, either. Let's do, let's land right in the ravine. No, that could be some really nasty landing area. Let's not do that. I've got so much fuel I can pick, I can spend a lot of it to pick a place to land. How about right in that crater? I think that'll be good. Hope you all agree. <laughs> I don't have any stability options, really. By the way, slow time down again. Your little thing has changed. Rename vessel. You are now... You're not a rover, that's for sure. You'll be a lander. First Mon Equator Lander. There we go. There we go. Speed time up a little bit. Might have been unnecessary to be worried and concerned about that original idea of landing in this Ridge Valley thing here, but you never know. So it might have been a good choice. Suicide burn. Delta V dropping. Percent suicide burn. We're coming in hot. Not really. Start burning. have for a landing area here. <clears throat> Look at the computer calculating away. Take 600 delta V roughly to do this. We don't have that bad an area to land at really. This area is pretty flat. We gears down. Okay. go. <coughs> Begin burning again. A little bit too much burn. I want to do a very soft landing, but it's like almost, it's like right, right, right there. 
bunk. We have landed. Kind of harshly. There we go. And the little pads have gone down into the planet. That tells us a little bit about its surface. Its surface is quite porous. Log thine temperature. And transmit thine data. Not exactly the best angle to get energy from, but we are getting energy, so... <coughs> okay, so, we have landed on the Mon. Landed on the Mon. Just a tad bit short of science. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're back. Okay. It's rescued this dude from the surface of the mun. Oh boy. That isn't great, come to think of it. Because he's going to have life support. And what I really need to do to start accepting these is have stuff pre-staged. Or else he's going to die every time. Because I don't think these contracts are really set up for having life support. Mm. Fly by Minimus. That'll be the next one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back out to that place that's landed on the Mun. I'll have to send another satellite out there to do some more... Just to be there in case I get another contract. like, oh, we want science data from the Mun. I'll do that on my own time later on. If I don't actually end, because I think this might be the 25th episode. Which is unfortunate. Observe thine mystery ghoul. Transmit thine science. Transmit thine data anyway. Do you have thine battery power? No. Oh, it did. It did it. Log temperature. Huh. Do you get anything? Can I transmit anything back with you? Yeah, we'll send it back. 3% the science value. And... Now you are just an observation station on the Mun. The first Kerbal made, at least in my series, thing to land here. Can I just extend the transmit? No, I can't extend it. It's to extend it. Continue to observe the Mun, because you ain't getting home anytime soon. I might be able to pop this thing back into orbit, actually. If I do, I'll do it on my time, but I may not even bother. Because it's here in case someone needs science data from the surface of the moon, which will be nothing but temperature. <laughs> actually, I'm going to end the episode here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you later.